guys, Kelly here, and today I wanted to share a video that's a little bit more about me personally. Recently, I just hit 200 subscribers, and I really want to thank you all for being here and supporting me and commenting and, and watching my videos. And so I want to share with you some things about me that aren't related to books, because I really only talk about books. I don't do vlogs very often, so you don't get to see any part of my life other than what I read. So I wanted to do the 25 non-bookish facts about me. But um, before I do that, I just want to say really quick, you know, when I started my channel, I guess it was back in May of 2018, I had no expectations of like how many people would watch or if I would continue or whatever. I just had been staying at home with my kids for about three years at that point and had just missed the like, you know, work life where you get to like build skills and talk to other adults, things like that. And so I have just loved my time so far on BookTube, just being able to have conversations with other adults about things I love, namely books, and be able to build some skills through like talking to a camera or working with editing software, things like that. It has just given me a chance to fill that kind of like, you know, inquisitive and learning part of my personality that I couldn't with a job by being a stay-at-home mom. So I just really appreciate my time here and I love talking to all of you in the comments. So now I have 25 non-bookish facts about myself. I will try to be succinct since that's a lot of facts. So to start out, number one, I am 37 years old. Um, a lot of people peg me as being a little younger than I am. I guess I just have a younger looking face, but for booktube that seems to be older a lot of people on this platform seem to be more in their 20s but i am in my upper 30s now number two i am married um i'll try to put pictures of things over here as they apply so there'll be a picture of me and my husband we met in 1999 at college and i was a freshman when he was a senior and we were together for a little bit but then of course he graduated and moved away and so we were apart for about six, seven years before we got back together and then got married. And we have been married since 2009. So we met in 99, got married in 2009, and now it is 2019. So we've known each other for 20 years. And I love him. We're, we're obviously still very happy 10 years after being married. Number three. I am a mom to two beautiful girls. You probably heard me talk about them. Um, my husband and I adopted both of our children. Our oldest is Bernadette and she is now four and our younger daughter is 15 months old and her name is Eliza, short for Elizabeth. And they are just so much fun and a joy to have in life. Number four, I'm a stay at home mom. I mentioned that earlier in the video. I um, quit my job the day that we adopted Bernadette she was kind of a surprise like we were in the process but we got the call and said can you pick her up in two days and so I basically gave my job two days notice luckily I was working for a wonderful organization and so they were very kind about the fact that I had to give such short notice so I have been a stay-at-home mom for the past four years number five before I was a stay-at-home mom um, my directly before I was a stay-at-home mom I was working at the ELCA, which is the Evangelical Lutheran Church of America at their headquarters. And, but I'd only been working there for less than a year. So before that, for most of my career, I was working in camping. So that would be like summer camps or year round camps that did like retreats and environmental education. I have done, I did that from like, basically since I was like 16 until I was in my early thirties. So camping has always been a big part of my life I met my husband at a camp and we rekindled our romance working at a camp together and I also when we stopped when I stopped working at a camp I was a board member at a camp for about five years before we moved to our current location so camping is still something that is very important to me and I think is a very important thing for kids to participate in number six um, you can probably tell by the fact that I worked for the ELCA that I am a Christian and I, am, I have always gone to a Lutheran church. I have tried other churches and I believe that all denominations are, are important and all religions are important to fit each individual person. It just happens to be that I really fit into Lutheranism because I am a more 
um, liberal person. And so Lutheran fits in with my personality. Number seven, so, and I'm going to, the next few are going to be just hobbies that I like other than books because I don't just read, though that's what I have the most time for right now. Number seven is that I really like to hike and do things outdoors. As a family, when we go on vacation, we often go to some place that is like near a lake or near a state park or whatever, and we do a lot of hiking and outdoor activities. Number eight, I like to bake. Um, my husband and I have watched every season of The Great British Bake Off, and we are a huge fan of that show. And so I have several of Mary Berry's cookbooks, and I like to experiment with some of the things that they make on the show or that she has in her cookbooks. I wouldn't say that I am, like, the best baker, but I do enjoy making the occasional tart or pie or such things. Number nine, one of the hobbies that I used to do a lot before I had children was I was a quilter. I like to make quilts because I like to have a hobby that has kind of a purpose. So quilts serve a purpose. They can either be decoration or they can keep you warm. So I have made a lot of the quilts that go on our beds or that are throw blankets in our living room and things like that. Or I give them away as presents to people that have babies or just to friends in general. I just really enjoy um, making quilts and I think it's a great way for me to like get my creativity out there. I haven't had as much time to quilt lately, but then once my girls are sleeping a little more steady, I would like to start doing that again. Number 10, I have in the last recent years, like the last five years, I have gotten really involved in community theater and like to do plays. I have been in plays, but then also I really enjoy doing the costume crew since I can sew and doing props and working in the box office, things like that. It was just a really fun way for me as somebody who stays at home with my kids that I could still like do something that was just for me and with other adults. So I really enjoyed being in shows. I'll put a picture up of me in one of my favorite shows that I did called Leading Ladies and it was a lot of fun. And then going along with that, number 11, I never wear makeup unless I'm on stage. I can probably count on my fingers the amount of times that I have worn makeup when it hasn't been involved with theater. So it could be things like my wedding or prom or homecoming or big events like that. I just, I have nothing against pe women who wear makeup regularly. I, it's just not a thing for me. It's never been part of my routine and I just don't enjoy doing it. Um, I obviously can do it because I've learned through theater, though that makeup is slightly different than your everyday makeup. So it, for those of you that always see me without makeup, I will put up a picture here of me wearing, you know, full makeup, wig, and everything from a play and see if you can even recognize me in it because I haven't had friends that would go to my shows and be like, you look like a totally different person because I just never wear makeup. And number 12, so the, ne the next several ones are things I kind of enjoy in terms of other media. So number 12 is my favorite TV shows of all times are Alias and Gilmore Girls. And both of those shows, you know, are obviously ended and have been for a while, but they're still some of my favorite. Alias, I just like, you know, the kick butt woman spy thing. And then Gilmore Girls, obviously just like the fast talking wit. It was just one of the best TV shows of all time to me. I just have a lot, a lot of show. I don't have a lot of shows currently that I am really invested in or that I really love the characters. So I still go back to those old standbys when I want to like watch something that gives me some good feelings. Number 13, I really love old romance movies, especially ones that star Audrey Hepburn. I've watched basically all of her movies. I just love them <laughs> in a lot of other older movies like I love the Gidget movies um, and Doris Day movies like all of those older romance movies they just get me I, d I don't know I just love the cheesy romance part of them and they often burst out into song during the middle of those movies which I just think is fun and so going along with bursting out into song number 14 I love musicals and show tunes I love to listen to them um, I love both the older musicals, like, you know, Guys and Dolls is still one of my favorite, and My Fair Lady, but I also really like Hamilton and some of the newer ones, so I pretty much will listen to any musicals. I just enjoy them. And number 15 is my very favorite live musical performance. I've seen a lot of musicals, something my husband and I do a lot on dates, and I used to do in my 20s, and 
So I've seen a lot of shows both on Broadway and living in Chicago. We saw a lot of musicals, but my favorite thing that I've ever seen live was I saw Sweeney Todd on Broadway with Patti LuPone and Michael Cerveris, and it was amazing. I don't know if you know anything about that revival of the show. I think it was back in like 2005, 2006, somewhere around there. But they did the show where the cast was the orchestra pit, so like all of the actors were also doing instruments. And it was just amazing to watch Patti LuPone run around on stage singing God That's Good, which is a fast song, carrying a tuba and playing it between stanzas of the song. Like, that's a real performer right there. It was, it was just amazing performance and the woman who plays Joanna played, I think she played the cello, you know, so she played a, a string instrument and so it was just like amazing to see the pit like on stage as the actual actors. And then number 16, my favorite music to listen to is folk music or um, singer-songwriter music. So that's when I'm not listening to show tunes. That's usually the music that I'm listening to, especially when my kids are around. I find that folk music is something that usually you could find without bad language and or sexual references, things like that. So it's something we can listen to as a family that isn't like grading children's music. So we listen to a lot of folk music and singer-songwriter music. And so number 17, my favorite band is Passenger, who is, he's a singer that is a British singer-songwriter. I love his voice. I think he's amazing. We've seen him perform live, my husband and I, and I just will listen to anything he sings. I'll link him down below if you want to look him up because he's had a couple songs that have been on the radio and got popular, but for the most part, I think he's more like an indie singer. And number 18, my favorite Disney princess is Belle. I obviously have two little girls, so we've seen a few like Disney movies, but Belle and Beauty and the Beast will always be my favorite Disney movie and princess. Even though I really love like the newer princesses that are um, more feminist and all that stuff, I don't know, Belle will just have a special place in my heart probably because she's a reader. And now just a few random facts. Number 19, I hate spiders, absolutely hate them. Even though I'm an outdoors person, I just can't stand spiders. And especially if they're in my home, I like freak out, just hate them. Number 20, I don't drink coffee. Um, I do like tea and things like that, but I do not like coffee of any kind, even like coffee ice cream or anything like that. Just not a fan, even though my husband is like a connoisseur of coffee, just not my thing. Number 21, my favorite ice cream is chocolate peanut butter. So delicious. And then, some interesting things about me. I was number 22. I was born at home. So my mom what, went into the hospital, thought she was in labor. They said it, it was false labor. They sent her home and she had me on our couch with my dad, you know, basically they're the one <laughs> there to catch me. So, um, and then of course I, an ambulance came and all that stuff. So I had like an ambulance and fire truck and police officers at my birth. I'm sure that was very fun for my mother. And then number 23, I have lived in six states. So I was born in New Jersey. I have lived in Ohio several times. That's where I'm currently living. Lived in Texas and Illinois and Washington and then Kansas when I was a child. So six states total. And then number 24, I studied abroad in college in Australia. So I spent an entire semester at Bond University, which is on the Gold Coast near Brisbane. And I loved it so much so that I've gone back two times because I've met some friends there and so I go back and revisit. I would love to go there more often but it is a very expensive flight from the United States. But I would go every year if I could or I would live there if it wasn't so far away from my family. And then the last one, number 25, I am a cat person. I do like dogs, I enjoy them, but I will always want a cat first and foremost. We currently do not have cats because we had three cats and they all passed away within a six month period, which is sad. And so we were kind of getting over that <laughs> loss of losing all three of our cats in a very short time period. But as soon as we buy a permanent house, we are getting at least one cat, probably two. So those are my 25 non-bookish facts about me. I'd love to hear a little bit more about you and get to know each other better. Thank you for subscribing and watching and commenting. I just really enjoy my time here on BookTube. Thank you, bye.